go to the layer menu in Affinity Photo and select New Layer. Then go to the Gradient tool, you can see the Gradient tool there, and add a quick gradient. Now default ones generally white to black, but what you can also do, you can go to Swatches, and if you've got a selection of Swatches, maybe just select one of those. Any of the Swatches you've got. Something more interesting than white to black. So with that, what you can do, you can go and convert it into a pattern. So Layer, and New Pattern Layer from Selection. With that, just go to the Move tool, and just resize, and you can see it's pretty decent. However, I'm gonna go for Mirror, so it makes it a nice seamless design, and you can see it nicely repeated there. Let's just make it about that sort of size. What you can then do is go to over here and select one of the selection tools. Elliptical marquee tool, perfectly reasonable, freehand as well, and just create a quick selection, something like that. Or maybe a selection over there, that looks a bit more interesting area, or there. Just decide on something. So I've got that. Edit and copy, and then edit and paste. Just deselect it, so I'll just go down there, deselect, and now if you go to the layers, you can see layers, you've got your pattern there. Now if I deselect that one, that was the one before, and also obviously the original one, you can see now what you've got. You've still got a pattern, though obviously clearly slightly different pattern, but this pattern you can resize in exactly the same way. That was the selection that I just used. Now this one, every time you do that, you have to move it around there. Just select the bounding box. And of course, what you can also do with selections and pattern layers, you can just duplicate it. Hold down the Alt or Option key and just duplicate it like that. So just do it a number of times. I'm just going to quickly fill that area. And of course, you can decide you now at this point, let's just stop. Select all of those. Again, go to Layer and down to Merge Selected. So they all become one Merge Selected design. And they're still mirror. And again, you can do exactly the same, just simply just Alt or Option and duplicate the design and resize it, rotate it, move it around. And you've got all those pattern designs. Just select them all again, go to Layer and down to Merge Selected. It's still a pattern layer. It does change slightly. It's never going to be exactly the same, but you can see what happens. You create this pattern. Now, it's not great if you sort of obviously really extend it, push it out. It's going to sort of be more blurry. It's obviously got limits but you can create some wonderful pattern designs simply using a selection from a pattern layer, something like this, very quickly. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.